bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, I'm just like bloop, 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 feeling the little donk, 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 donk. <laughs> this is going to be another, not really a tip, not really a tutorial, random Steam input observation, <laughs> like goofy little thing, not really intended. So just to give some context of what I'm doing here. So this is a little vehicle builder. Obviously, you know, I'm going all mouse and keyboard. Like there's no way I could do the vehicle building. You know, it just, it's suited more, but the game does support analog for vehicle controls. So I knew I was going to need to make a separate layer here. You know, so I have my driving, got my you know, analog steering, analog throttle brake, it's feeling pretty good. I'm still, you know, I'm still tweaking things, getting through the tutorials and starting through the campaign. Anyways, the issue was for quick binding. So when I'm in the driving, I'm going to click left grip. That loads the driving layer. Click left grip again. That gets me back to my mouse and keyboard. But I also made a hold just while I'm building and want to quickly assign the keys. And I wanted to have some, some way for me to know that I'm in that driving layer. And what I did was I stacked, I put it on both triggers. But I mean, you can, you can stack this up as much as you want. So I gave it a soft press, low haptics, kind of in the middle, and then almost maxed out medium haptics. And what that does is kind of give you like, you know, the feedback in the trigger as if you're getting it kind of like the adaptive trigger, blah, 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 you know, it gives you some feedback. So you know, you're in there. So I click in here, like, boom, I feel thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> you know, obviously, I can't, this is a hard one to show. But Put it on there and it feels pretty honkin' cool. Bloop 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 bloop. Yeah, I'm just like bloop, 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 feeling the little donk 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 donk. <laughs> and the thing I don't know what they did, but I love the feeling of the soft press haptics. There's something like something in the feedback feels different. I don't I don't get it. Because even putting it on uh, like a direction pad or joystick move, there is something like it feels meatier. I, I don't know what would be different, but something about it feels a little different. So that's why I just wanted to share this. Because, I mean, you could, you know, you just put a, put like an empty binding with haptics, like a normal regular press. But specifically, these soft press, the haptics feel a little different, plus you can stack them up. So you could have low, medium, hard. Like, I did have three range. That felt, eh, the high feels a little crazy to me, so I just wanted two. But that lets me... So, like, I go here, I want to change these. So I hold, I'm now in my... in my analog set, and I can feel it when I... A donk donk. <laughs> oh wait, I'm doing the wrong. I'm not paying attention. I want that to be steering. Oh, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay, that to be that. Forward. Feel the feel the thunk. Don't feel the thunk. So now I have. You know, it was easy to bind those in. It was just a hold. I knew that they were. The analogs, just because I could feel it, which gives me some nice feedback, so I know that I'm back in my normal set now, because my haptics are different. Click to my driving set. And now I have full analog. Full analog throttle and steering, which makes it a lot easier to play. And, you know, Making it that hold gives me an easy way to bind the controls in. Well, 
but yeah, I mean, I mean, that's it. I just wanted to share that, you know, just using using the soft press to create some interesting haptic feedback on the triggers, and it worked for me particularly in this one because... Let me go back to my other one. You know, because I knew I was going to need to be swapping back and forth a lot and not having, not wanting to have it be a toggle, but to know when I hold this... Okay, I can feel it right in the trigger, and I know I'm in my analog set. But yeah, I mean, that's it. It's a cool game. I'm, I'm going to keep playing a little bit, refine this profile. But uh, yeah, I would like to get some vids up on this, because it's, it's kind of cool. I always like these little vehicle builders, little physics puzzle games. And you do, it, it ends up getting much more involved. Like, I mean, I'm just in the very beginning, but... Like here, you know, like I would have to go to a box or something. Where, yep, that. My little decouple thing. Like, you know, you end up making some pretty cool vehicles. It's not just make a basic car. It's gonna get much more involved. But yeah, soft press. Create some cool haptic feedback. Rock on, man. That's it. All right. I will see you around. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs.